Hello, it is I, Sir Devon of Kang, and welcome. It's not a rad custom review, I'm actually going, I basically ordered a few stuff off Amazon and I'm going to showcase three of them today. So the first two thing is, first thing though, is the Flash, a Lego Flash minifigure. I actually brought two. Uh, the first, uh, so I'm going to review the Flash first. So I think his bolt things on the side of his mask are a bit too big. But I like the decals on his uh, torso. It actually kind of reminds me of uh, the newer suit in the CW show. And it has a double sided head so... Uh, take his helmet off or mask thing off. You have two faces. You've got Smiling Barry. As if he's about to meet Iris. And then you have Smiling Barry. I'd have actually preferred if we'd have had a serious Barry. Uh, but then again, this isn't the CW. Then um, the second Barry Allen figure, I'm going to do something with. Um, I'm actually going to make a custom speedster with it. Uh, you guys in the comments, guess who uh, this is going to turn out to be. Then we have Lego DC Super Villain sticking with DC. Um, I've decided to get this, and I've also got the edition with the Super uh, the TV pack. So um, I've seen who's in it. One thing though I could complain about is. They don't use any of the characters from the Arrowverse TV shows. I know that when I searched up the voice cast that John Barrowman's in it playing uh, Melvin. But I want someone from... I meant people like Tom Kavanagh. Speaking of which, why is Eobard Thorne got a donut in his hand? <laughs> but yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this. Uh, I'm a big uh, Flash fan. And I can't wait to give this a go. Uh, I won't upload any Let's Plays of it. Uh, because I've got the Mass Effect thing. Legendary Edition gameplay to do. I've got a load of other stuff to do. And then this is Mirage from uh, Dark of the Moon, the newer toy. Uh, by the way, it's not Dino. It's Mirage. Mirage. Um, as a G1 fan, I like uh, Mirage's cloaking ability. And I wish we could have seen him in War for Cybertron, but I have made customs of Mirage. So let's transform him. Um, so while I'm transforming him, I'll review it. So it took me three attempts to transform this uh, figure. It's a lot more complicated than the other uh figures than uh, previous Transformers toys um, and I'd also like to say this I'd like to see a Transformers Armada Megatron toy or trans a re-release of Transformers uh, War for Cybertron so like the game I'd like to see more of those figures coming out I'd also like to see more of um, Skywarp Thundercracker uh, a lot of Transformers toys from other continuities. So I know we've got a lot of Beast Wars stuff. But I'd like to see some more War for Cybertron stuff. So like uh, Gal Megatron from Fall. Or I'd, I'd want to see a double pack with both Megatrons from War and Fall of Cybertron. Um, I'd like to see a... War for Cybertron Jetfire. And I'd like to see um, a... I I was actually going to buy a War for Cybertron toy or a Brawl figure, but then I saw how much they are on Amazon, and they're like 
70 pounds like 70 pounds for a transformers toy you gotta be i'm not paying that much like i don't apologize like like that much for a transformers toy does amazon want to rob us blind of our figures I'd also like to see a um, more from the Transformers Cybertron cartoon series or the Unicron trilogy that does include Energon because I like the design of Prowl and I'd like to see more Transformers Prime figures coming out like more things like the Weaponizers. And here we have Mirage. Now something that annoys me about this is that. Like whenever you whenever he you try and stand him up like that. Oh no, it's actually working. I like that they've remember his blade things from the Dark of the Moon game. I think that's a little callback to the game uh, not much head articulation unfortunately which is kind of a letdown for me I do miss the era of Transformers toys when you could have good air articulation on your Transformers figures that's another thing I'd also like to see re-releases of um, Armada Cyclonus, Armada Demolisher, in fact, any Demolisher will do. Um, I'd like to see more Fall of Cybertron Combaticons, like, I know they're about £200 on Amazon now, which is crazy. Like, Brawl alone is like, um, £80, and... It really cheeses me off when they're that expensive, but they are of value. And there's a nice, nice little trick with this, so you can put the boomerang thing on uh, Mirage, Mirage's hands, but I'd prefer them to be on his arm, forearms. Um... So, uh, yeah, that just about wraps up this review for now. Uh, just a reminder, guys in the comments, uh, try and guess who, what I'm going to do with one of these Flash figures. Or who I'm going to make with it. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. So, goodbye and good night. Too sweet.